Hello, everyone.、Uh, this is Donna, and today I want to talk about QA World. Hello, everyone. So I, today I want to talk about QA World because I am so excited. I just recently got in, just last week. So I actually just、um, I actually just tried applying online, and it brought me into this step by step procedure. And all of a sudden, boom! I got in. It was quite fast. If you apply today, you will already know the result immediately.、Um, uh, I actually went to their Facebook.、Um, um, they do have a Facebook page.、Um, some experienced that they did not receive any notification after they're done with the application, but mine came quite fast. So I got the result immediately, and then I got in. It just happened last Friday. So I just want to share with you what happened after that because. <clears throat> I want you to learn from my mistakes. If you are interested in applying to QA World, or if you're already in QA World and you're a newbie like me, learn from my mistake, okay? Because I was quite very excited that I got in.、Um, I did not read through the whole FAQ. I did scan the FAQ, but I didn't thoroughly read it. So that is a number 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 one mistake because you have to read through the FAQ. The FAQ that they have is like their guideline on how they want you to transcribe the audio calls. So QA World, by the way, <laughs> just to give you a background, is a It's a trans. It's a freelance job. First off, it's a freelance job. You have flexible hours.、Um, there was no interview. I did not get interviewed or anything like that. Um, and um,、uh, they will pay you with the work if if your work is up to their standards. So they will actually base that on your how you transcribe the the audio calls. That's why you have to read in the FAQ because that's like the rules on how you should transcribe the calls up to their standards. Yeah, because、um, in this QA World platform, once you get in, they will give you a rating. So you cannot simply just transcribe whatever you hear.、Um, they will give you a rating of five to one. Five being the highest, one being the lowest. So, because I got so excited when I got in, I、uh, I pull up a call and transcribed it immediately without really understanding the FAQ. I just scanned through the FAQ, and、uh, because I'm dumb, <laughs> I, I failed. Okay, I failed the first two calls that I evaluated.、Um, so、uh, I have to stop myself from being stupid. Yeah. So <laughs> after those first two calls, which I failed miserably, I got a two and a one.、Um, <coughs> uh, I I stopped myself and then I went through the FAQ one more time, and this time I really read thoroughly and understand what they want me to do. So after doing that, my third call, I did pass it. I got a rating of three, three being the average. So. <coughs> I got a bit of my confidence back after passing one transcribed call, and then after that, because I'm stupid, I took a long call. So my next call, I took a 17-minute call to transcribe. Now, mind you, I don't have any experience in transcribing. I just felt like I can do it, so I did. And because because of that, I failed that long call. <laughs> Okay, overconfidence doesn't help you here. Learn from my mistake. It doesn't have to be your mistake. It can be my mistake. So learn from my mistake, okay? So that hurt me a lot because understanding what they're saying is very different from understanding word for word what they're saying, okay? Because I understand English. I speak English. It's just that. Transcribing is a bit different because you have to know what they're saying word for word, literally. So <coughs> I did made a very big mistake on that long call. 
I mislabeled it. I misheard it somehow. Um, I tagged it as a um, customer when it should have been the agent. So I got an automatic one. So the thing about here is, um, uh, in the QA world, um, world, in the QA world, world, you have to have an overall rating of at least three. Three being the average. Um, because I, uh, this is last week, okay? Because I only, t I only did uh, four calls last week. Uh, rating of two, one, three, and another one. My overall rating became 1.8. And I got a warning. For the very first time of my whole working life, I've never got a warning this fast. <laughs> okay? <laughs> the warning is if I don't bring my rating up, my overall rating up to at least three, I will be terminated within 14 days. So, I got really demoralized after reading that. And I haven't been with QA World for a week. But after that email, I was like, shit. So, I have to pull myself together here. Because how can you give up with just transcribing four calls? Really, how? So, um... <clears throat> Instead of being overconfident, I have to give myself a bit of a learning curve here. So instead of evaluating long calls or transcribing long calls, um, uh, I chose to transcribe short calls first. Because I don't have any transcribing experience, so I'm not an expert on it. And I have to hone my skills, and you cannot do that in 3-4 days, yeah? So I did give myself some time. Now it's already, now it's a Thursday now. So I'm doing this vlog on a Thursday, uploading this tomorrow. So now I have brought up my rating to 3.5. I, I actually did good in my other calls that I have transcribed um, for the past few days. So I got a rating of um, 4 and 5 which I am very proud of <laughs> and uh, and yeah but the thing is I'm not I'm not yet <clears throat> I'm not yet cleared because if ever that my rating would go down to um, less than three they would just terminate me yeah but me being a newbie they're giving me 14 days yeah so I just want you to learn from my mistake if you're a newbie if you're applying so <clears throat> Don't be dumb like me. Do read the FAQs because that will help you a lot. Um, and if you're serious about this job, then please do read their FAQs. That will save you more time, actually. Um, I just want to share my experience for this week because it has been very hectic for me. I have, like what I said, in my whole working career, <coughs> I have never received a warning that fast, yeah? So, um, that's it. And I actually got paid already from um, what I did last week. Now, I only have a passing. I only have a passing transcribed audio call last week. So, I got 50 cents. <coughs> Sorry about that. Because um, this is actually, um, they, they give you 20 minutes per call here. So, I only did a short call last week, and I only passed one transcribed call last week, so I only got 50 cents. Now, um, uh, whatever you did last week, you will get the pay next week. Uh, they do pay weekly, and they pay you through your PayPal account, so you must have a PayPal if you are interested in this kind of job, or if you're interested in applying to QA World. So, um, uh, I was a bit glad that I got my 50 cents. <laughs> Um, this is in US dollars, by the way. So I am uh, still glad because at least they're paying. They're legit. They're not a scam. Because a lot of people on the review are saying that are they legit? Are they a scam? They're asking, yeah? So um, I'm telling you now they're not a scam. They did pay me even if it's 50 cents. There are no like cut off of how much they would you know, you must have at least $10 or $5 before we can give you your pay. No, nothing like that, yeah? So, which is good. So, 
I haven't been to QA World for a long time, so basically I'm just quite excited to share my experiences with you because um, I actually did search it on YouTube as well about QA World. I only saw how how you can apply to QA World. There's a lot of, of vlogs about it, but how do you stay in QA World? So this is how. You have to read their FAQs. That's it. Nothing more. That's it. Just read through the FAQs and that will save you because that's all I did. Yeah? Because um, the reason why I failed is because of carelessness and also didn't reading I did not read the FAQs yeah so if you read through that you're good so I hope this video helped you somehow so um, I will update you if there's anything else um, but since I'm still a newbie here I don't know much I haven't encountered any problem with their platform or things like that um, so yeah so I hope this helped you and also if you're from QA World and if you're watching this video, do leave a comment below. Maybe you want to tell me some things or stuff like that or if you're keen on um, applying to QA World, I will leave a link on the description below on where you can apply. So uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope this helped you and until next time, yeah? I hope you subscribe to my channel if you like more videos like this. Bye!